latest advisory did increase winds to 80 miles an hour, so it is a category one hurricane. It has begun that intensification. It's moving to the north northwest at about 10 miles an hour. We think later today it becomes a Category two storm tomorrow, a major category three storm and making landfall with winds of about 125 miles an hour somewhere around Appalachian Bay uh, with about a strong category three intensity. But it's so big that basically the entire peninsula is under either hurricane warnings or tropical storm warnings. The red are areas that we think hurricane force winds will go and notice that extends by the way into Georgia, but back to Florida for a moment. You could see tropical storm warnings all of our coverage area all the way down to Miami uh, and uh, Broward and the Keys. Now let's talk about the wind threat because Meredith, I think that this absolutely gets to the core. The purple shades are the major ish hurricane force winds. So from Apalachicola all the way into Georgia now because of the new modeling that we're running and then back over here toward uh, kind of the Big Bend. But that does put Tallahassee and Florida State University in threat for that. And there is just some beautiful canopy of trees up here along I-10. That's going to be a mess for our friends in Tallahassee if they do end up getting this major hurricane force winds in that area. But notice how quickly it drops off, right? Red is hurricane force winds, orange strong tropical storm force winds, and that kind of cuts off across western Marion County. For the rest of our central Florida area, the yellow shading indicating tropical storm force winds of 40, 50 up to about 60 miles per hour.